Uh, they have a consciousness? A con- yes. That's the word I'm looking for. Consciousness. Thank you, Alflame. I'm having a ball. I'm actually having fun. I'm having fun too. My day was so boring before things stopped making sense. <laughs> and then I just... And then I just shut my mind down and l rode the nonsensical adventure. That is... I actually, I actually spent a large portion of today gambling. Did you? Not, re not like real gambling, but I found this site where they have like Twitch vines, or not Twitch vines, but they just have, they're streaming Twitch tournaments of fighting games, and right before each match you get to vote on who you think will win. Heck yeah, man! It's spend coins that they gave you, and I had a lot of fun with that. I made so much money until they started playing Smash Bros. Melee, and I didn't know anyone, and everyone I bet on seemed to suck. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm sorry, yo. Dude, 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 you know what I want now? Leon in the next Smash Bros. I will do anything for this. You know what? Technically, all he needs to be is in a Nintendo game, right? Not even that? Sonic... Mega Man, but Snake. But they, they were on or Nintendo consoles, that's what I mean. Has Leon never been on a Nintendo console? Oh, he was on the GameCube. That's where uh, Resident Evil 4 first, like, that was the first console that it was on. Like, Resident Evil 4 was on the GameCube first. What about Snake? Was Snake on a Nintendo console? Because I remember... I, I remember yeah, they... I remember they remade uh, Metal Gear Solid for the GameCube. No? I'm well, gonna look did. that up, though. They did. I do remember. I do remember the story of how Snake got into Smash, though, and it was just Hideo Kojima just fucking running up to the Nintendo head, and he's just like, apparently every Smash Bros. game, he was just begging and begging and begging for Snake to be in it. Really? Yeah. She's like, can you put Snake in this one? Nah. Snake in this one? Maybe. Snake? Okay, fine. He was an interesting character to actually use. I, I yeah. wasn't very good at using him, but I know some people legitimately were. I did like his final Smash. It was pretty awesome. I recommend watching Smash Bros. Brawl tournaments. Not Meta Knight matches, but like real matches involving a lot of the more complicated characters. Oh, yeah. Dude, like... dude those are fucking fun to watch. It's like watching people do an inter like a, a fucking perfectly choreographed dance around each other. Just two different dances trying desperately to match each other. And it's fucking... Watching Snake... Watching a Snake player or watching an Olimar player... is like... Weirdly fucking intense. And I love it. And I'm done. I had a friend that was really good at using Olimar. Because Olimar wound up being really good. When I, first played, I was not very good at using Olimar. When I first played it back when I was like 11, I w I, I remember, not when I was 11, oh, but... Oh no. Oh, Owl Flame, yeah. remember how I had all that money? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Where'd all your money go? Upgrading. What are you, you better like be a super tech now. Uh, what the... Is that I, I got better protection Thank against you. things. Ooh, emeralds. Is that all, stranger? How old were you, How old were you when the Wii U came out? Not when the Wii U came out. Wow, that was recent. Uh, yeah, I was Wii gonna U. say that was a couple years ago, so probably like 23. I want to say the Wii came out in. Oh, the Wii? Uh, probably. I want to say 20. The Wii, I think, came out in 2007. Oh. So that was about seven years ago, so I want to say I was 13. I was like 18. Going on to 19. And you're so, much, you're so fucking old. Yeah, I, that was the year I graduated high school. Yay! And I started I working at my job. And I remember I was super psyched for Smash Bros. Because I kept picking up all these Nintendo... Oh, games. man. I'll flame. Mm. Mm. Oh man, the treasure map to the island. Treasure map I island. 
Okay, does this does this shopkeeper have a backstory for why he doesn't care that you know. get the treasure? Map? Okay, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. We got the broken butterfly, right? Yeah. We can get the killer seven, which is also a reference. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I I I. Yes. Also, I think the price is also a reference to that oh, game. But despite that, that despite such a game, despite that, we want to keep the broken butterfly. No, you want to get the killer seven. No, no, trust me, it's exclusive. Is amazing. Fuck you, get the killer seven. No. Come Fucking on. great game. Oh man, have you ever? Has there ever been a game that you're just like, nah, I want to try that, and you're just, it's just sitting in the back of your mind as, I'll try it someday. Actually, yes, I do. I can think of it right now. What is it? Uh, oh god, I'm not gonna remember the name of it, but I think it's called Black. I believe it was a game for the PS2, and I, I think it was also like. It was for the Xbox and the GameCube. Oh my God! There's a guy right there. Oh no! Because for me it was um it was Killer Seven. Killer Seven. Oh was no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You killed the merchant! No. Oh no! So many dreams and aspirations. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Is, is he gonna spawn to the other? Is, is he gonna spawn to the other uh, sections on the map? Cause um, well, there's another one over there, so I can only hope he's gonna spawn over there. I I gotta be honest, I've never had the merchant die any time I play because there's no point in killing him off. I mean, he sells you things. <laughs> Well, like, there, there's no point in killing him, it's not like he drops anything, and if he does, it's no better than if you kill one of these guys. You know what I mean? I, I, please tell me you're, like, genuinely nervous, like, is he gonna come back? I, 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 I have no idea what's about to happen, so, honest to god, it's like, I hope he comes back, cause... It's a literal game changer. It, it could be a literal game changer of, um... I, I need things? <laughs> if he's if he's generally gone, money's pointless. I have to rely on what I have. There's no tuning up anymore. He's not, he's not genuinely gone. We hurt. still have quite a bit of game left to do, so it's not like I, I'm pretty sure he's not gone forever. I, I'm pretty sure he's just not gonna he's just not gonna spawn at that one location. I, I'm I'm pretty sure all that happens is uh, you can't sure find. I'm pretty sure now he's just really upset with you. Like, I can't believe you let that guy He's going to mark up the prices in his... Yeah! That's what I was going to say! He's <laughs> going to mark up the prices! <laughs> it's just going to be like, Leon, you killed me. It's like, I didn't kill you, man! <laughs> he hates you now. <laughs> he's going to team up with... I didn't he's kill him, though! I didn't kill him! Yeah, you did. You killed the shit out of his face. Oh, one guy. He had a dino. <laughs> oh my god! I, uh, this. Oh no. Why do you keep saying? Why do you keep using my line? Uh, keep, I, my line I, I just remembered something. Moments. I remembered something. Let, let me just. The uh, audience needs to know why there. The audience needs to at least have a hint as to what the oh no is implying. I can't. I, uh, I, I just. I just. You know what? You wanna know I said oh no? Just suitcase. Look, look at this. Look at this. That is horrible handwriting. It's in tables and stuff. God horrible. Horrible. Look at all this look at all this stuff. Cans jars of non perishable. Reminds me of the days of O R E. I, I, I did you just nitpick something that didn't need to be nitpicked because no, it wasn't? I'm just trying to distract that. I'm just trying to distract the viewers. Just trying from, to distract the viewers from, from nothing at all. Oh. Nothing at all. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Wow, was that please tell me that was an oven? That was a fridge. I oh, fuck. Actually no, it probably what it probably was an oven. It was just it was, a very unusual oven. I just I just like to believe that the zombie was just sitting in there roasting at like above hey, 700. I'll flame. Those things Wait. moving are maggots. What? 
Do you see the things moving on that carcass? Yeah. Those are maggots. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Or they're yeah. supposed to be maggots. If you cook a maggot, can you eat it? I don't know if maggots are exactly something that you want to eat, but uh, probably. They're probably high protein. I ask, I ask this, because if that meat was still good, and the only problem with it was that there are now maggots on it, I'm assuming because it's not good anymore, but whatever, and then you cooked it, could should that still be okay? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the meat is... I'm pretty sure, like all food, it has an expiration date, and if it's succeeded, it probably has some things associated with it that you don't want to eat. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Is that a cyborg? Oh, he's dead now. No, he's just co he's just coated in armor. I liked it better when he was cyborg. <laughs> like like the DC hero. Only because of the DC hero, yes. Hey, there's another one. It's his brother. I'm second side. It's him again! Ow, there's two of them. And Green Arrow! We're gonna pound this into the dirt! 